G'day YouTube, welcome to another Clockbench video. Today we're going to be having a look at getting rid of this pesky little pop-up message that likes to show up even though your system fully supports DirectX 12. When you click the play button, you can't launch the game correctly because of this stupid error message. And Ubisoft is not much help. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of this. This may work for some people, it may not work for others. But um, we'll try, we'll give it a go. Go into Documents, My Games, AFOP Directory. So, My, my Games, Documents, My Games, AFOP. And you'll see a bunch of folders and text files in there. The one we want is state.cfg. Now you might have to select notepad to open this document and when it opens you want to have a look down and find the graphics menu or systems sub menu whatever it is and the DX12. Now in the DX12 we want to change that to true and save that. Close. And the message is gone. And the game launches. Right, let me just get rid of that. Oh, also in that for also in that state dot cfg text document, we can change a number of other settings. Oh, I didn't like that. Let me just get rid of that. gone all right also on that text file you've got a number of number of things settings you can change for example if you want to launch the game in say 800 by 600 mode and we want it windowed we can just change it right there set our refresh rate to 30 position the window shows up maximized we don't want to maximize it we just want it to run in a window yeah, there's a lot of other things we can change here so I changed a few of them 800 by 600 and windowed mode and there it is windowed mode 800 by 600 I'll just get rid of that get lost Anyway, so that's a handy little file, the state.cfg file. And again, it's located in the documents folder, my games, AFOP. And the one you're looking for is state.cfg, especially to, to hopefully get rid of that DirectX 12 message. It, it won't work for everyone, no doubt, but hopefully it will work for some of you. And you know, if you're looking to launch the game with you know in a windowed mode or at a specific size without having to worry about using the game launch arguments, which I didn't, I couldn't get it to work anyway. It's a lot easier to edit these CFG files in Notepad. You know, there's a settings one, which nothing in that one, and a graphics settings CFG file as well, which has got all your graphics settings. And if you want to clear your cache of the of the entire game, you, you can just rename that folder altogether. That will basically force the game to to create a whole new settings folder. You'll see well, like when I launch it, when I launch the game, it, it will make another. Oh, there it is, with all your things in it. There, there they are. Just get rid of that, we don't need that coming up. Uh, 
But anyway guys, I hope that helps a few of you. If you like the video, like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.